Hello right, well, everyone, this is Energy Crisis, Energy Drink Report, Energy Drink Review. Here we are. Today, we'll be reviewing Liquid Lightning Energy Drink, the original premium supplement. There we go. Alright, anyway, checking out the can here. Pretty conservative looking can, to be honest, or a minimalist uh, look, actually. Uh, for a name like Liquid Lightning, you know, it sounds like, you know, it's going to be strong, you know, powerful, packs a punch. Uh, you know, you would think, you know, the can might have bright, energetic colors, but I actually like this design a lot more. You know, if, if you look at the can here, it's uh, small, probably eight ounces, but uh, get to that later. Uh, can small, you know, just classic black, uh, white text here. Really nothing striking out, just a conservative, minimalist uh, design, and, uh, you know, truth be told, I actually like that. I really do. Anyway, checking out the ingredients here. Supplement facts. Serving size, one can, 8.4 fluid ounces. Calories, 100. Fat, 0 gram. Cholesterol, 0 grams. Sodium, 0 grams. Potassium, 90 milligrams. Uh... 23 grams of sugars, you got your vitamin C, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, and a measly, well actually it's not measly, it's, it's a decent amount, uh, 100 milligrams of caffeine. You know, comparing this though to the cocaine, uh, which is an, I believe an equal sized can, uh, you know, the cocaine uh, you know, might have maybe 200 milligrams of caffeine, whereas this has 100. But comparing this to a Red Bull, Red Bull Red might have you know 80 milligrams, uh, where this has 100. So this does have you know a pretty decent amount of caffeine, average maybe, a little more than Red Bull. So we'll see, see how the effectiveness is. Uh, proprietary LL Energy Blend, two grams. Mm, it's not bad. Glucolactone, ribose, inositol, pain, ginseng extract, potassium citrate. Also contains carbonated water, corn sweetener, citric acid, natural flavors, potassium citrate, potassium benzate, and natural color. Hmm, what's this? All caps. That means it has to be important. Read before consumption. I'm reading this. Product is not intended to be for children, pregnant women, or people sensitive to caffeine. Read all over ingredients carefully before consuming. I did that. Uh, limit use to three. Count them three cans per 24 hours. Remember that. Uh, this product has... Uh, and these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The product is not intended to prevent, treat, or cure any disease. Darn. Had a cold a few weeks ago, and this might have come in handy, I thought. Anyway. <clears throat> the original. Premium supplement. Uh, natural color and flavors. Am I missing anything? I am not. Alright then, well, you know what, I pretty much covered every square inch of the can here and the ingredients and the text on it, so let's open it up and pour it out. There we go. I don't know, a glass tonight, I think it's like a martini glass or something. Something. No idea. From uh, Hard Rock Cafe in Denver, Mile High City. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway, looking at the drink here. Uh, highly carbonated, as I can see. Got uh, bubbles on the sides. Uh, clearly, quite effervescent. It has an interesting smell, almost like a uh, sweet smell uh, in some aspect. Uh, and in color, it's uh, almost like a uh, sepia-toned color, more more on the yellow side, but it does have that, it is sepia-toned in, in a way, uh, but it also does, it is you know, yellow, yellowish. Anyway, let's, let's try it.
Interesting. Quite interesting, actually. Quite. You know, the flavor itself, really, uh, you know, when I'm looking at it here, uh, the flavor itself is, is quite unique uh, to this beverage. You know, it's, uh, really, it's not, you know, one specific flavor here. It's uh, definitely a blend of uh, all sorts, almost like a, not a menagerie, maybe. But, uh, yes. But, uh, you know, really, though, it uh, certainly has a, a complete blend of all sorts of flavors. Uh, really, from from first sip here, you got a uh, a few berries. Uh, I could I could taste what what seemed to be a little grape in there, uh, though you know it, it didn't strike out to me like in that super sour uh, beverage that I had you know a uh, in previous energy drink review. You know that one the grape flavor was practically overwhelming there, uh, but this it was, it was a light grape taste, uh, you know, mixed with uh, several other berries, and then I could swear. As an, a as an aftertaste, uh, you got, you know, a, uh, almost like a hint of vanilla uh, there. So, quite frankly, you know, it has the blend of, you know, different flavors and berries and definite, you know, s slight grape flavor. And then as an aftertaste, it actually does have a little bit of vanilla uh, from what I could taste. And, you know, I might be wrong here. Uh, you know, I, I could just be babbling here. Uh, you know, but that that's what I tasted. And, you know... Personally, the flavor blend, though, uh, is, is quite, you know, unique to this beverage, in my opinion. You know, uh, Monster, I remember when I reviewed Monster, it had its own unique flavor there. I said, oh, Monster, you know, what does it taste like? Beats me, it tastes like Monster. What does Red Bull taste like? Oh, well, it has, you know, this, uh, you know, soda-like taste, uh, but it has its own unique flavor. Liquid Lightning... Uh, in some aspect, you know, though it has, uh, it does, you know, have an identifiable blend of different types of, you know, maybe berries, uh, fruits, uh, some grape in there, maybe slight vanilla aftertaste. Don't count on that, though. It could be my taste buds. Uh, it, too, has its own unique flavor. So that's, uh, that's basically my main remark about it. Do note, though, that the uh, unique quote, flavor. Uh, it, it, it does taste good. Uh, it definitely does taste good. Uh, you know, maybe even above average here. Uh, but it certainly does taste fine. Uh, I really have no complaints about the flavor itself of the beverage. Uh, you know, it looked heavily carbonated, and sometimes with some beverages, you know, when it's too carbonated, uh, it could sometimes, you know, almost st sting. Uh, in an aspect, you know, if so many bubbles hitting the tongue and popping and so on and so forth, uh, it could almost sting in an aspect, but this really, you know, it, it was actually surprisingly smooth uh, for all the bubbles I saw on the sides and all of that. Also, I gotta say, once again, I do like the packaging here. I like the can. I like that minimalist look. Is it worth it? Well, uh, you know, we got this for $2.00. Uh, $2. Typical energy drink price. Is it slightly overpriced? Yes. Uh, I would say it would be more along the lines of $1.50. Uh, simply because this is an 8-ounce drink. Whereas the, you know, big 16-ounce monster uh, is the same price uh, in many locations as this. And, you know, really, sa same thing with the Red Bull, but, you know, so it's slightly overpriced. I would say maybe more of like a uh, $1.50 uh, along the lines of that. So, that's what I have there. Fair enough. 11.57pm. I think I'll be out of here before you could hear the uh, the grand midnight chime. And I'm definitely not going to waste three more minutes of your time to hear that. Uh, yes, that, that's about that. Uh, weather here. The, uh, the famed polar vortex is, is coming back. Next week, apparently, or this week, or whenever. It's coming back. Making its rounds again. The end of the world, as one person said. Though I have to disagree with them there. It's just cold air moving, th moving through, and that's that. So, yeah, there you have it. That covers up matters for today. 
Uh, this is Energy Crisis, the energy drink of four. Today we tried Liquid Lightning. Original flavor. A somewhat unique flavor to it. Uh, definitely a blend of other flavors mixed together. Some berries, some grape, possible vanilla aftertaste. We'll see. But, uh, all in all, out of ten, I would give this a... 7.86 out of 10. Definitely above average there. And uh, I'll have to get the effect with to you later. Anyway, that's all I have for now. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care of all, and stay safe. Don't do anything stupid for me, alright? Don't do anything stupid.